Hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls. Last time we left off, we defeated the Gaping Dragon. I talked to... Yeah, I was being blunt about random shit and... Now we're in Blighttown. With more, nothing less. <laughs> but, um... As I mentioned in the last video, this town is a straight up mess, but not like... look Well, look-wise it is a mess. But it's also a mess frame rate, frame rate wise, because it has horrible frame rate for some reason. I don't know why, and I don't know why they never fixed it. Like, I don't know why they couldn't like you patch it with an update, like the frame rate issue, because the frame rate here is really bad. Like you'll notice it pretty soon. And hold on. Okay, I heard uh, I'm someone's alarm went off on their cars, and I was checking to see if it wasn't my car, because people are dumb like that. But it wasn't, and it just stopped, so someone got it. But um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, this area is just a mess of frame rate issues, look wise, and overall just going through the game really. Because it's just so fucking awful. I mean, like, this whole place is just like a death trap, really. Any Anywhere you fall can either lead to your death if you don't know where you're falling. Or can ma end you, make you end up landing near a pit of death. <laughs> and I would have fallen into that hole there if I didn't land on the very edge. But you have these motherfuckers that aren't too bad, but they inflict poison, I think. I'm not too familiar with them. Like, I have fought them before, like, they're the main enemy you encounter in this game, but they never really hit me because they have really low poise. Plus, they're super slow. And it also pisses me off that, like, whenever I do... Okay, so they don't poison me. Well, that's just been confirmed. <clears throat> but, um, what was I gonna say? It kind of pisses me off that, um... That, that move I keep doing where, like, I bring my sword up to do a big attack. It does nothing. Like, you would think it would do, like, you know, like, a little, like, over 200-something damage or so. But no, it doesn't do jack diddly shit. And that guy apparently dropped something. And I don't think I noticed it. <laughs> That's funny. But, I don't know what this enemy is. This is the only enemy you ever encounter throughout the whole game. And... It's not much of a threat. Like, I do die from this thing, but it's not really a threat. Like, you can just kill this thing from the distance. Like, if you have a um, bow and arrow or a crossbow, you can just, you know, start lighting that guy up. Or magic, even. He takes magical damage, too. And there's a path that goes right behind him. Like, he's literally in front of an opening that you can go into. But, like, there's another path you go that leads you to the backside of him. And all you have to do is just like, you know, slash him a few times and he's dead. And so I just like take a few hits on him just because I want to see how much damage I do and really it's nothing special. And I was a little surprised on how quickly he killed me because it didn't look like he hit me on that second attack. Even now, as I look at it now, it still looked like he didn't hit me. But whatever. I don't know why that guy's there to be honest. I think you... There might be another one in, um, what's it called? In the fiery place that's underground. Um, I'll shortly be there in a bit, I can tell you that. Maybe it's like the new Blight Town, question mark? I don't know. But, yeah. But just so you guys can, um, um, know what's, gonna, what's up up ahead, the frame rate here is going to drop horribly. And before you say, well, maybe it's because you have a bad TV or a bad processor or whatever the fuck you want to say. Blighttown has been known for having horrible frame rate issues. Like, everyone has experienced bad frame rate issues. If you don't believe me, check out PewDiePie's channel. I think I'm about to die here. Oh, nope. He actually did a playthrough on this game, and in, whenever he entered this area, he was like, the frame weights. Frame weight. Frame rate sucks balls. But I returned to the... Wait, am I? Yeah. I returned to the bonfire. Well, I'm going to return to the bonfire. I don't know when, honestly. 
But I, I eventually returned to the bonfire because I realized that I don't have 10 um, uses on my flask. So I'm like, what the fuck? So I break up a twin humanity and yeah. Break those up. Get attacked by that son of a bitch. And so he's dead. But aside from that, um... If you're wondering how my day's been, it's been pretty good. Um, school wasn't too bad. It, a lot of people were kind of just being assholes in math, but whatever. And, uh, I got my hair cut. Not that you guys will ever see me, my face, because I'm never going to do face cams, because... In my opinion, face cams just take up space. And I think I'd only... I would only use them if I did a horror game. Like, if I did horror Let's Plays. Like, horror game Let's Plays. Where there's just jump scares and anything, you guys want to see my reaction. Then, yeah, I'd do it, but... And I did play Amnesia, but really... I've seen so much of it that it doesn't really scare me. Like, yeah, I'll be like... You can, you'll can, you hear me, like, stop... Stop and just go, like... <gasps> like, I'll gasp and all, but... You know, I won't... Fucking... I won't scream or anything. I don't know when was the first time I ever screamed. I'm trying to remember what game I played back then. Actually, this was a game. Yeah, it was in Bioshock 3 whenever... You guys remember that trumpet head guy who, like, appears behind you after you hit this switch? I don't know why, but it scared the absolute living shit out of me. Oh, and if you're wondering why my poison thing, my toxic poison is going up, there's a motherfucker somewhere in the distance who I can't see, but I can see his attacks, who is just shooting poisonous darts at me. That is non-stop. I mean, he is the mo they are the most annoying fuckers in the game, because all they need to do is just stay in the distance. Where you can't see them, you had to, like, figure out how to get over to them. And they just fucking light you up with poison. And they're, they, um, their darts fill your poison meter pretty, pretty quickly. And the fact that they don't like, um, there's not much of a short period at whenever they fire. It's bullshit. But whenever you do kill him, you get moss clumps, like purple moss clumps, but it's not the type of moss clump that can um, cure your toxic poison. It's the only one that can fix um, just regular poison. <sighs> but, um, back to what I was saying. Yeah, if you remember that trumpet head guy, the, like, the three trumpet head guy thing in Bioshock 3... Where he pops up behind you out of nowhere after you press that switch. I don't know why, but for some reason I screamed loudly. Like all you heard was just like me. Ah! <laughs> My brother and sister were in the room too, and they just like stopped and looked at me like, "Are you okay?" I'm like, "That was scary." <laughs> but yeah, there's the fucker that was um blowing those darts at me. And like I said, whenever you kill him, you get purple moss clumps, but they they don't fucking cure your poison. They only cure, you're, like, you're toxically poisoned. And, you know, the purple moss clump doesn't cure that. It only cures regular poison. I don't know what the fuck that guy's doing, but he ruined my chances on getting that item. Whatever it was, but I'm pretty sure it was just a broken straight sword. But yeah. This game is just a walking death trap, I swear. I apparently killed something, but I'm not sure what. I'm assuming it's that big fat guy I saw earlier. Because those things do offer quite a bit of souls. And I have enough to at least level up a few times. At least. But I don't know what those things are. I know they're like a form of hollow. But, yeah, I don't know what they are. <laughs> well, I, if you remember earlier, I said that, um... You can... There's a path that leads right behind him, and you can just go at him. He just dies in a few hits, and it sounds like I'm not really hitting anything. It just sounds like I'm hitting um, the ground, but I'm actually hitting him. And I kind of get stuck here, but I managed to wedge myself out there. And... Should be dead pretty soon. <laughs> there we go. And I got a power mancy called the power within. And what that does is it raises your um, attack, defense, and uh, poise. 
but at the cost of um, lowering your health. I don't know how much it lowers your health, but it it can lower your health quite a bit. And it's a pretty neat um, spell because there, there's like magic and then there's pyromancy, which is basically magic. But the difference is you don't need int faith or intelligence to use it. You can just like buy it off this one guy who sells pyromancy spells. And he'll just give you the thing that lets you use pyromancy spells. And I think I've already... Yeah, I saved him. And he's just at um, the Firelink Shrine at the moment. Just doing whatever the fuck. And so I don't know why they have those fog clouds if it doesn't really lead to anywhere. Like, I kind of feel like they just put him there for dramatic effect. But it really doesn't do anything. And once again, I'm getting poisoned. And I'm poisoned. Like I said, those guys are fucking annoying. Because you gotta be sure you have a good variety. Not a variety. A good collection of bloom pur bloomed purple moss clumps. As you see, that didn't fucking cure my thing for shit. You need the blooming purple moss clump. Which both cures poison and toxic poison. I sound like a record at this point. And these enemies, I... I don't know what the fuck they are. They are not hard to kill at all. They do somewhat damage, but they are really slow. Like, you can pretty much anticipate their attacks. And they have... They have that weird flame attack, but... Really, it's just the flames of the bonfire that's just stretched out. Not stretched out, but like, you know... Brushed on. If you know what I mean in Photoshop brushes, because, like, it kind of has a stream where, like, where if you just click and then click again, so-and-so. If that makes any sense. But, yeah, I don't know what those things are and what their deal is. They're just really weird. <clears throat> but I see an item over there that I want, and there's one of the fuckers that tried to fucking poison me. What do I get out of this? Oh, Wanderer Claws. Yeah. And a Falchion. Nice. Falchion's a pretty good weapon, but it breaks pretty easily. Like, it breaks a little too quickly for my liking. I gotta sneeze. Oh, fuck. <coughs> ah. If you're wondering what those bugs are, those bugs inflict blood loss and I actually thought I was gonna die there but it looks like I survived but um, if you're wondering why I'm being poisoned it's the floor actually it's filled with this weird goop I don't know what the hell it is but whenever you um, walk on it your regular poison meter just fills up and the poison ain't much it just does like what one or two damage at most and it does last a while, but, like, it does so little damage. Like, it, you hardly ever notice it until, like, the first five or ten seconds. But it, at the words, you know, it doesn't do all that much. And over here, there's a chest that's the, that holds a dragon scale. And dragon scales are, are like tantanite shards. You can use them to make your weapons stronger, but drag only dragon weapons. So I can use it on my dragon sword, but I don't think I use it yet, because I... once I get my other sword, I'm never really going to use the other swords again. <clears throat> I mean, there is one other sword that's pretty good, but... <clears throat> Sorry. Um, we'll see. But for the sword that I want to get, I need... Uh, What's it called? A deaf eye? Not sure. But whatever it is. I'm pretty sure some of you know what I'm talking about. But you get them from the geckos in the You can get them from geckos. And some have... There are some in the sewers. But in the area I'm at at the moment... Um... Because... I'm in a different area. Like, in this, game, in this video, I'm in this area. But in at the end of my recording, I ended the video at a different area. If that makes any fucking sense to you. <clears throat> And right now, you know, I haven't played it or anything, but there are geckos where I'm at. So, if I kill enough, I eventually get the item I need. 
And once I get that item, I can just head back to the Firelink Shrine and start going to where those skeleton people were at, because I have a reason to go there now. I mean, there is a reason to go there, but, um... My reason in particular was, um... Getting that weapon. But also, you need to go there to progress, and... This is another NPC that invades you if you're human in a certain area. And... This one's not all that tough. Just because you can just stagger him, stagger her, the whole battle. Because she has low poise. Like, she has no poise whatsoever. Like, if you're not wearing any sturdy armor, you're not going to have any poise for anything. So you can just wail away at people. And some people can dodge. If you can dodge, you can roll out of attacks, but yeah. <clears throat> well, it looks like we're nearing the end of the video. So, leave like a comment if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel, girl, and in the next video, we're going to explore this marshland and see what we encounter. But until then, I will see you all later, and have a good day.